Hey everyone, Faceless Mike here in the game basement. Today I want to talk about Slain, Back from Hell. Slain is an old school action platformer from Wolf Brew Games and is very much a throwback to the old school Castlevania type of game. Only this time with much more heavy metal added to the mix. Released on PS4, PC, PlayStation Vita and Xbox One. The synopsis reads... You control the fate of Bathrin, a doomed hero in a gothic world who seeks to liberate six cursed realms from the six deadly overlords. He must battle his way through this blighted land, packed with gruesome and lethal creatures before ascending, or sometimes descending, into a stronghold, all while defeating fiendish traps and vile monsters alike. Okay, this game really does scratch that good old retro witch for those long gone days when Castlevania and its thousands of clones roamed the land, much to the joy of their audience. Sadly though, gaming went a step too far in that direction. And as time, graphics, and console generations marched on, this style of game has seen less and less light as we move into an age of touchscreen phones and VR headsets, relegated largely to the discount bin section of the Steam Store or GOG.com. Thankfully though, there are some of us out there who still enjoy diving right back in where our barely teenage selves left off, and this is where Slain comes into play. Like jumping into a pixel version of an 80s metal album cover, Slain is a joy to the eyes for those with similar tastes to myself. With its awesome soundtrack and D&D slash heavy metal mashups of monsters. Now I have seen some reviews complaining about the difficulty level of this game, but to be honest, in my opinion, while it is a bit difficult when you first pick up the controller, I never once felt that when I died it was because of the game somehow had it out for me, or that it was cheating. If I died, which I did, a lot. It was because I sucked at the game. Two or twenty tries later, when I'd become familiar with the mechanics, I found myself smashing through mobs like bosses with the same ease and pleasure as bubble wrap. Now that's not saying the game is easy, far from it, but there is greatest satisfaction blasting through a boss like he is paper after he has handed you your ass fifty or so times, once you get used to his attack patterns. The other side to this complaint is that even when you do die, Slain throws you right back into the fray in no time at all. The last time I played a game with such a quick turnaround after death to replay was Super Meat Boy, so when you die, and you will, you'll be right back on the horse before you can say Wrath of the Gods. In short, I really enjoyed this game. Take a look at the footage here from the PS4 version I was playing. If you like the look of this and are the sort of person who enjoys Dark Souls or Bloodborne but want a bit more metal and miss the good old Castlevania days, then give it a shot. If none of these names mean anything to you, or they ain't your bag, move along. This ain't for you. Now, enjoy the rest of me getting my butt handed to me for level one.